All right, so in this video, we're gonna discuss the matrix band thicknesses when we place two matrix bands in a back-to-back -back situation. And in this case, we often wonder, are we achieving enough tooth separation to account for both matrix band thicknesses so that when we get done, we're not leaving a gap or a space. And the engineering that went into quad was, was specific to achieve this exact very thing. And in traditional systems where you had the universal pads, um, what's happening when you place these on, you're asking the ring to engage in two different embrasure space uh, shapes and sizes. And when you do that, what's happening is you're losing, you're losing ring force in the, in the application of the ring. And so when you put this on, those hard, those hard ring pads or tines are gonna be engaging with the teeth in different directions and you're gonna lose some of the force of the ring to tooth rotation or ring rotation and things like that. And so with the quad, it was our goal to focus the energy of the ring right down the middle here to accommodate and achieve enough tooth separation to accommodate for both matrix band thicknesses so that when we remove these, that we're not left with a, with a small gap. And that has to do with the driver tip and engaging that with the splitting wings of the quad wedge like so. And when we do this, the way this was engineered is that that driver tip forces all the force of the ring right down this plane of the two teeth. And you're getting maximum separation of the teeth, which will account for two matrix band thicknesses. Now, an important factor that goes into this is case selection, okay? So when we're doing back-to-backs, it's important to understand which situations that this driver tip and this quad wedge are going to be able to engage and give you the separation that you need to account for two matrix bands. And so when you go over to this side and you see lesions like sized like so here, we have enough tooth in these areas that is going to allow our ring to really engage this embrasure space and this embrasure space and create maximum separation. However, when you go over here, you can see that this lesion's gotten much bigger, much wider, deeper, and that ring is going to be losing some of its engagement in this area. And the ring's gonna be focused more on, you know, matrix band stability and things like that. But when they get wider like this, I tend to do one at a time because the ring is not gonna be able to get maximum separation here for two matrix bands. For a single, it's fine. But in this area here, you've got area for your driver tip to engage here, the other side to stabilize it, and you have enough force generation there to create separation for two matrix bands.